Hi everyone, it's Ian from ZPP Trading. In this video, we're going to look at a trade manager for MetaTrader. It will be for both MT4 and MT5. I'll put a link in the description below to download it. It'll include both versions for MT4 and MT5. So a lot of my students and traders have asked me how to close partial positions in MetaTrader because it's not something that's easily available within MT4 and MT5. You have to use an external EA and expert advisor. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this one. So I'm going to show you how to download it, how to install it and how to use it. Since it's already installed, I'm going to close it and delete it just so we can go through all the steps together. Okay. So once you downloaded it from the link below, you have to go into your download folder and then you will see one version for mt4 and one for mt5 mt5 is the .ex5 one so once you have that open you go into metatrader on file open data folder and then mql5 experts and here you will see a list with all the EAs you already have installed. If you don't have any installed, then this will be your first one. So from the download folder, we're going to copy this one and paste it into this folder. Just like that. So we're going to close it again. And back in MetaTrader, here on the left side, you open up Expert Advisors. And again, you will see all the ones you already have installed. Now we have to right click and go on refresh. And now it updated it and we'll see it here. So to put it on the chart, you have two options. You can either double click on it or you click and hold and you basically drag it onto the chart. Here it is. Perfect. So you can, you know, click on it. You can move it around, place it wherever you like. And to open a position, the way it works, you can open a short position, a cell, and you see those lines. The red one is for your stop loss since you're going short. The blue one will be your take profit level. You can, if you click on buy, those lines are going to be reversed because obviously if you're going long, now your stop loss will be below the current price level. And you can also hide those lines If you do not like them on the chart, you can just easily hide them and show them again. And if you double click on the line, you can track those level. So you can track them to whatever you think your take profit level should be in your stop loss. So now the very important part is here on the left side, you have for your stop loss and for your take profit, you can use either pips, a specific price level or a dollar amount. However, I personally and most of my traders will always use a fixed risk percentage because it's the most efficient one, the most effective way of you know doing your risk management. So if you're having a 1%, we could change that to 0.5% and it automatically adjusts the lot size as well. And now you will see when you're tracking the stop loss level, since we have a fixed loss, it will adjust the lot size. Because obviously the further away, the smaller the lot size will get because we have more distance, more pips to cover. And to execute the order, you have to click on send order. So once you send order, now the order is sent. This was the market order. So we already have that one. And Let's go down here. We'll see your open positions. So on this one, we have 2.43 lots open. Now we can obviously still move those take profit levels around. If now we move the stop loss lower, it's not something we should ever do, but it will obviously will not adjust the risk anymore because you already opened the, the position with the specific lot size, but we can always adjust it. So if you're closing, we have three buttons here. One is move your stop loss to break even. 
So that's something once, you know, if you're in a buy in a long position, once price has already moved up and we would like, you know, do proper risk management, we want to move our stock to break even, we can click this button and it automatically moves to break even. Then we have one to close 25% and one to close 50%. So this will close 50% of your position. One thing to notice that's important is if you're opening two positions, well, we can just do it again. Let's say we're opening another buy position. Now we have two positions open at 2.43. Whenever we are closing partial positions and take partial profits or a you know partial loss if our position is in drawdown, this will always be calculated of post both, both trades that are open. So if you have two open, it will close 50% of both. And that doesn't matter whether one is a long position, one is a short position, or both are long positions. So if you click close 50%, you see now we closed automatically 50%. So we don't have a button, you can't change it to customize it to let's say close 75% or close 90%. However, if you just click the same button twice, you know, it'll take you a millisecond, you just double click on it, and you will basically close 75%. That is because if you close 50%, and you have 50% open, then the next one will close 50% of whatever is left open. So let's look at, uh, we have a little cheat sheet here. We can look at that. So you can uh, write this down or screenshot it or whatever. I will also put it in the description. So if you have your first order and you close 50%, you obviously have 50% left. If you now click again on that 50% button, if you now click again on it, then you will close another 50% of the remainder 50%. So now you closed 75% of your initial position and then if you click on it again you would basically have closed 87 and a half percent of initial position so it, it doesn't really matter to do it more than you know four or five times that's probably the maximum you want to do it because then you might as well close the entire position but it's a very easy and quick way to secure profits or even to manage your risk um, move this away so another one is, let's close one more time. See it close 50%. Now we can close them completely. So if you're going, let's say we want to open a cell, but we want to open a pending order. So if you click on this one, now we're on market order. So what we did before, we had a position and then we clicked on the send order. It opened it. At the market price if you click on pending order you will get an additional line so now you'll get this additional green line since we're going short and it's a sell if i now click the send it will whenever the price will hit this line the order will automatically be executed so at this point you can still track this line and you can move your entire position it will not affect the take profit and stop loss in terms of pips or dollar amount. So you can track them even after you open the trade, you send the order. If now you move the stop loss, if you hover the cursor on it, you'll see our stop loss is at you know 498. If you move it now, since the order will be placed, it will change the dollar amount. So it's not like before before we click the send order and it will automatically adjust the lot size. Now it will be the same. So if you click a pending order and afterwards you move your stop in the other direction, you will significantly increase your risk. So not something I would advise you to do. And obviously if you don't want this order, we can just right click on it and delete. So those are three, these three options you can open one more trade and here we will see close trade so we have one button where we basically if you click it it will close all the trades that we have open this one will only close trades that are in profits and this one only the ones that are in, in a loss 
we can uh, just close this one again. Then we have two more options here on management. Here we have the option to use a, a trailing stop. We can, you know, put the pip amount in, turn it on and off. And this might be interesting for a lot of you guys that are trading with prop firms with a funded account where you have a, a drawdown limit, or even if you want to place a drawdown limit on your personal account, this is quite helpful. So you have a daily equity protector where if you click on it and it's green, it's turned on. So you can set the amount at on this account, let's say 500. So once it's on, whenever you're in a 500 drawdown, it will automatically close all your positions and not allow you to go into further drawdown and lose more money. You can do the same if you achieved a, a profit, if you're planning on making say a thousand dollars a day that you'll automatically stop trading once you reach that that target. You also have a weekly protector, we will use that one so much, but here one that's quite interesting is a drawdown. So you can place your daily allowed drawdown in percentage. You know, with a lot of those prop permits, you have maybe 5% or 4 or 3% maximum daily drawdown. So if your limit was a maximum 5% drawdown, you can set it to 4 to be on the safe side and turn it on. So then you will automatically not be able to lose more than 4% and therefore not violate any of those rules. So that was basically it. If you liked the video, you know, hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, trade safe. We'll see you in the next video.